Hi friends, so in this video we are going to see the comparison of two multiplication methods. One is the multiplication of unsigned integers and second one is the multiplication of two's complement integers. So for this you need to consider two values. This may be the example for the comparison. So one is the value 9 and 3. So if you are converting this values into the binary, so 1001 is the binary value for 9 and second one is the 0011 is the binary value for 3. So these two values we are going to uh, multiply that is a 9 and 3 we are going to multiply. So first one that is the multiplication of unsigned integers we are going to see. So the next one is the multiplication of the same 9 and 3 we are going to multiply with the 2's complement integers. The multiplication of unsigned integers so we are going to take this example so 1001 that is a 9 0, 0, 1, 1 is the 3 so now we are multiplying the same it can be applied so there is a partial products can be applied so one here if you are multiplying 1 0 0 1 so now if you are the 9 need to be multiplied so here again you need to shift it so you need to start from the second position so 1 again 0 0 1 so now this is the value for that second multiplication in the third and fourth multiplication zero so it's not going to be uh, give any value so if you are multiplying two four bit binary multiplication to eight bits will be there in the result so example if you're adding this one so one one and zero and one and one and here so this may be your eight bit result okay if you are checking this value so what may be the result so here 9 cross 3 so your result need to be 27 okay so example here if you are saying this this is 1 and here this is 2 and here this is the portion 4 and this is the portion 8 and this is the portion 16 so so 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 so the result may be 27 okay so this is the a multiplication of unsigned integers in same this method can be called as a state forward multiplication so in this uh, multiplication of unsigned integers so here if you are seeing the same this value of 9 in the binary value if you are interpreting into the 2's complement the same value will be viewed as minus 7 so example how uh, it will be minus 7 you, can, you may be asking so now you just consider value of 7 the value is binary value is 0 1 1 1 this is the value of uh, 7 then if you are taking the 2's complement of 7 what may be the value so now you need to convert first you need to convert into the negation so all the values need to be negation so negation is 1 0 0 0 so this is the negation of value of 7 so after that for the 2's complement you need to add 1 to the to the previous value so after uh, getting the neg negation after getting the negation you need to add 1 here so now if you're checking so 1 0 0 1 so this is the value of minus 7 so this is the interpretation of 2's complement so the same value if you are seeing as an unsigned integer so here that value is 9 but if you are interpreting that same value into 2's complement integer the value may be minus 7 so this is the problem with uh, multiplication of unsigned integers and multiplication of 2's complement integer so now we will see what may be the result of the this 2's complement multiply integer multiplication now we will see the uh, multiplication of 2's complement integers so here if you are multiplying 2 4, 4 bit binary value so your result will be 8 bit binary value so for that we are considering all the results will be in 8 bit positions will be there so we are, we are going to multiply this minus 7 that is the interpretation of 2's complement so then multiple multiplicant is 3 0 0 1 1 this is the value of 3 so now here your multiplier is minus 7 minus 7 so because of that you need to keep the remaining values will be 1 that is it's showing the negative value so example if you're taking uh, first portion into the uh, if you're multiplying the first portion with the multiplier so what is the value so 1 then here 0 0 and 1 so the so the result will be 8 bit portion so the remaining 4 bits will be filled with 1 need to show this maybe shows the negative value 
So example again, so only 8, bit, eight bits we are considering. So the overflow bits we are, we are leaving. Okay, so the second question is 1 and that is multiplied with minus 7. So what may be the value? So 1, then we are shifting. After that we are putting that 1, then 0, 0, 1. So after that remaining 3, bi three bits are there for up to 8. So now here three these 3 bit positions will be filled with 1, 1, 1. Okay. Here this is the third question bit. So third question if you are multiplying that is a 0 is multiplied with multiplier. So you need to start here. Okay. Now here this is 0 and 0 and remaining bits will be 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So now your fourth bit is again 0. The 0 is multiplied with the multiplier. So here your fourth bit position is here. 0. Then 1, 1, 1, 1. So now if you are checking the resultant value it will be the 8 bit so now you just adding that 1 here adding 1 and here 0 and here this is the value 1 now if you are adding the 4 ones so your result will be 0 and 1 will be remaining so again if you are adding 5 ones the resultant will be 1 again the 1 will be added here that again 1 will come then again that one remaining one will be added with the next position so your value will be 1 and here this is the overflow bit that will be leaved okay so now this is your 8 bit result so your value is this is the position 1 and this is the position 2 and this is the position 4 and this is the position 8 and this is the position 16 and this is the position 32 and 64 and here 128 so these are the questions so now what you need to do you need to convert this into two's complement you need to apply two's complement here so first you need to take the negation so negation means first one is 0 0 0 then 1 again 0 1 0 0 so this is the value here so now if you are uh, adding 1 so after taking negation you need to add 1 here so the result will be 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 so now this is the value what is what may be the value means so here this is the if you are adding this value this is 1 and this is the value of 4 and this is the value of value of 16 if you are adding this one it may be the 21 so 21's negation if you are taking two's complement so this is the value of minus 21 so your result is the minus 21 okay so if you are multiplying minus 7 into 3 your result will be minus 21 so this is the uh, little bit complication with the multiplication of unsigned integers and multiplication of two's complement integers. So same bit positions if you are checking this is the value of 9. So if you are considering as a multiplication of unsigned integers but if you are considering as a multiplication of two's complement the same value may be considered as a minus 7. So if you are multiplying with the, the same two values 9 and 3 it, it's converting into a binary. This binary is if you are multiplying with the multipl multiplication of unsigned integers your result will be 27. But if you are saying the same values if you are interpreting into the two's complement integer your result will be the minus 21. So this is the complication related to complication is there related to multiplication of unsigned integers and multiplication of two's complement integers. So for this if you want to remove you want to solve this particular complication so you need to go for the Booth's algorithm that is the major important requirement for the Booth's algorithm. So these kind of multiplication can be solved with the help of Booth's algorithm.